Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? Today we're continuing our resort tour series here and we're stopped off at Rio Palace, Las Americas. And we're gonna be looking at the food offerings here, starting with the buffet here at breakfast time. So I'll give you a little bit of a look at the uh, different offerings here, just in terms of how it's laid out. So we have some hot food all along this wall here. We have some cold options in the middle, a bakery station here in the middle, and then some desserts and pastries over on this side here. So let's go take a closer look. So turning around, oh, we actually missed a spot over here. Turning around over here, this will be sort of our, um, if you're look, looking for some lunch or dinner kind of options at breakfast time, here's some options here. So we've got some, some zucchini and prickly pear, and we have some uh, chicken mole. We have some pork fajita in the back, and then some white rice and peas. Coming around this way, we've got some chilaquilas. We've got some red and green chilaquilas. We have some uh, beef here, and we've got some canned quesadillas, and then some um, original quesadillas. I think that's just with cheese in it. We've got all kinds of sauces to top up your meal here. So this is like the Mexican corner here. And over here, we've got some, uh, some different uh, taco options, and then some tamales and uh, burritos as well, just in the hiding in the back there. In the middle here, I'll show you the bakery options. We've got some bagels here. We've got some uh, fresh croissants. We've got the toasters here. And then around the other side, we've got some uh, biscuits and buns. And then they have these cooking pots here. We've got some, oh, up on the top it says we've got some oatmeal in this cooking pot. And then some hot chocolate in this pot here. Make yourself some oatmeal in the morning. And then some brown sugar and cinnamon to top it off. So just across from the uh, oatmeal and bakery station, I'll show you some um, options for dessert. If you'd like to satisfy your sweet tooth at breakfast, we've got some tarts, some chocolate covered croissants, some apple turnovers and muffins. We've got some sweet breads, like a vanilla and carrot sweet bread. And we've got some danishes and then some more muffin options here too. Over here there's a, a gluten-free station. There isn't any like bread options right now and they're just showing some whole fruit for the gluten-free. So that's all that's offered at this present time. And then around the other side of this uh, dessert station, there is some cereal options. So we've got some like Fruit Loops and uh, Corn Flakes and then some chocolate Rice Krispies and then some cold milk to uh, top up your cereal. And then one other thing besides the toasters here, I didn't get a chance to show you this because there's some people standing here. There are some uh, bread options. There's some whole wheat bread and then some white bread that you can grab. And then uh, also some butter here too. So that was this corner just right here. So now what we're gonna do is just come up the left side over here and show you some of the uh, hot food offered here at the buffet. So in this station here, we've got some donuts, some French toast and waffles, and then some uh, sugar-coated croissants. And we've got some orarascas or shortbread cookies in the back. Here we've got some fritters, some banana pancakes, chocolate chip pancakes, and then traditional pancakes. And some syrups to go along with that, just here. And then um, there's a few things left in these stations here, but we've got some uh, ham and cheese sandwiches. We've got a uh, cheese panini sandwich, and then some uh, eggs on bagel, and we have a uh, potato omelet here too. Moving along to some of the more traditional breakfast items, we've got some egg scramble here. We've got a uh, ham and egg scramble. We've got some uh, zucchini with vegetables, and then some more, um, these look like prickly pear to me. We have some sausage, some hot dogs cut up here. There's supposed to be some fried plantain here in the back, but they're um, out at the moment. We've got some hash browns, and then some uh, poached eggs with a red sauce. And then on the roast, on the chopping block, or the roast station here, they've got a turkey breast here, as well as some gravy and mashed potatoes. Moving along, just along the back wall here, we've got some uh, uh, roasted tomatoes with some cheese. We've got some uh, traditional style bacon, uh, some steamed vegetables, looks like some zucchini and carrots. And then we've got some uh, mixed vegetables, some broccoli and cauliflower in the back. And then over here, we've got some more eggs. We've got some poached eggs, uh, boiled eggs, and then some fried eggs just here with different uh, styles, so sunny, over easy and maybe over hard as well. And they'll cook you up eggs how you like it, just in the back here. And then over here, you can choose from all of these toppings here and uh, ask the chef to make you a custom omelet for breakfast here too. So we'll just take a quick little break from the food and I'll show you the dining room here. So this is the dining room. I don't know if you can quite see, it's not focusing very well, but 
Oh, there we go. So there's the ocean in the background, and this is an open concept, so you can get like beautiful seaside dining here for breakfast and dinner time at the buffets. So we just toured the entire back wall here. We'll come just over here into this small corner, and we've got some different uh, fruit juices. So we've got like an iced chocolate milk. This one's called a multivitamin shake. An orange juice with melon, watermelon juice, a green juice, papaya juice, and then a banana milkshake. And then I like these little uh, fruit stands here. There's like little spiral fruit stands holding these fresh pears, and then some apples here too. And then coming around this way, there's some things that are missing from here, uh, just because it's a little later in the morning. But there's a Neapolitan flan, a mixed fruit preserve, and then banana tempura here too. But some of the stuff has uh, already been picked over. Over here we've got some fresh fruit chopped up. We've got some watermelon, papaya, guava, pineapple, um, I think this is cantaloupe. We've got some grapes. We've got some yogurt options here too. A uh, peach yogurt, strawberry yogurt, and vanilla. Oh sorry, it's natural yogurt or plain. And then some more uh, whole fruit options here too. And then over here in the corner we've got some um, avocado, tomatoes. We've got some chicken in the back. And then we've got some uh, carrots, onion, uh, spinach, or sorry, lettuce. And then all kinds of little toppings to make yourself a nice little salad. And then in the back we've also got like a little caprese salad too, which looks really nice. And then just here looks like some uh, different milk options. We've got non-fat milk and we've got some almond milk here too. So it's nice to see there's some uh, milk alternatives for people with different diet preferences. And then here's a little, uh, looks like a Caesar or Bloody Mary station. And also a uh, mimosa station too. So I don't know if this is self-serve or if the, the team members here at Ryu will help you with these drinks here. And then off to the middle station here, we've got some, um, some more uh, dessert options. We've got some Nutella, condensed milk, and peanut butter. Some more of the uh, sweet loaves that we saw earlier and muffins. And then uh, a very similar to what we saw before with these dessert options. And then in our last little station here, our island, we've got lots of cold options, cold meats and cheeses and yogurts. There's different preserves, jams, uh, toppings for yogurts and granola and things like that, just all through here. So lots of options for like a fresh yogurt in the morning. We've got a cream cheese, and I like how they're kind of decorated like that, that's pretty nice. We've got some uh, cold cuts here, like Canadian bacon, salami. We've got some chorizo, chihuahua cheese just down here. And we've got some uh, cream or some goat's cheese here too, just on the end. And I'll come around the other side. You can see some mortadella, mozzarella, blue cheese, we've got some turkey ham, and then uh, just a little bit of Swiss cheese left here too. And then finally, there's one little lonely piece of smoked salmon left. We've got a cured pork loin, some serrano ham, and then some yogurts already like in a little cup right here for you to take. We've got some jello, and then we got some sardines, and finally some salami here, just in the back. And then there'll be a, a couple more things you could top up your yogurts with here, some granola options and some nuts and seeds and dried fruit. And with that, that's gonna do it for our breakfast tour here. So we'll turn things over to dinner time and take a look at the food offering the food offerings here at the dinner buffet. Mm. All right, so welcome back to the dinner buffet here. We're at the uh, Rio Palace Las Americas, so I'm gonna take you guys around and show you what's offered here at dinner time. So we'll start in the same spot that we started at for breakfast, just over here in the corner. So if we look over here, we've got some beautiful cannellonis and empanadas, some breaded fish. And then we've got some lasagna and mozzarella sticks. And then just around here, we've got some pastas some fresh cheese and Parmesan to top up your spaghetti. Um, it looks like a rigatoni with bolognese sauce, raviolis, a penne with tomato sauce, and then a uh, four cheese pasta here. Here we've got an assortment of, um, looks like little uh, kind of buns with like uh, pasta and pizza toppings. And then here's some pizzas here, fresh tomato pizza, margarita pizza, a Turkish pizza, a Hawaiian pizza in the back, and we got a cheese pizza and pepperoni. Over here in the middle of this bakery station, we've got some uh, baguette here, or bruschetta breads. And then in the cooking pots, we've got some Indian cream tomato soup, and then a tom yum gung soup, just here. And then around the other side, we've got our bakery station. We've got some buns, dinner rolls here, and some fresh loaves. We've got some baguette, 
and then some more dinner rolls here, some different varieties. And then a cutting board here to cut up any of your dinner rolls here, or your uh, fresh breads or baguettes. So just starting on this side, we got some rice pilaf. Uh, we've got some roasted marinated vegetables, some spring rolls, and a ratatouille, which looks nice. A chickpea masala. Uh, potato, uh, mashed potatoes, and then some um, baked potatoes in the back. Here we've got some mussels, uh, seafood curry, some uh, grilled fillets. This is, sorry, fish fillets. We've got some green and red sauce with some limes in the middle. Or we can use that as a topping for grilled salmon, just a grilled fish here, tuna. We've got some french fries, New York steak and uh, chicken skewers. Here we've got a veal kofta, lamb raga with vegetables, a rice here, and then a chicken curry. I'm beginning to think there's sort of an Indian theme going on tonight. And then Singapore noodles, some steamed broccoli in the back, some carrots, zucchini, onion, zucchini and onion, potato wedges with garlic and paprika. We got some fried rice and then some green beans and onion. In the back we've got a roasted top sirloin on the right and then a roasted lamb leg on the left with some uh, gravies here. Over at this station we've got some crispy fried chicken tacos, breaded pork in the back. Um, we've got tostadas and quesadillas. We've got some pescadillas or fish tacos, green enchiladas, shrimp burritos and then meat empanadas here. And then carrying along the Mexican station we've got some refried beans. Uh, beans and like a meat stew. We've got chicken tinga, uh, picado, picadillo, I think it's called. Or, and then this is pork and salsa roja. We've got some uh, chips here, and then to go along with that, we've got uh, all these different toppings. I think they can make some tacos for you here at the station, and these are all the various toppings you can get for the tacos. Over on this side, we've got uh, coconut fritters, and it looks like some uh, small little cakes and tarts here. These look really good. This is a baklava. We've got some uh, strawberry tarts and macaroons in the back. And then all kinds of different desserts, tarts, cakes. I'm just going to kind of pan across here and you can get a good sense of some of the things offered here. All these look really good. There is some, uh, there isn't tags offered here for me to tell you what these are, but you can get a good sense of all the different desserts all through here. And then moving on from the dessert table there. We've got some fresh fruit here. I love the presentation here. We've got lots of papaya, mango, watermelon. We've got some pineapple, grapefruit, strawberries, blackberries, all kinds of stuff just mixed in on these fruit trays here. And the presentation looks absolutely great. And then we've got some um, uh, kind of cut up fruit just here with these uh, sticks. Because what you can do is use the sticks and dip it in this chocolate fountain here, which is a, a lot of fun. And then finally we've got some ice cream here. We've got um, a nut ice cream, a blackberry ice cream, strawberry, and then chocolate ice cream here. And there's some cones as well to, uh, to get the ice cream cone for your dessert. So we basically just toured around the outside of the buffet all the way around to here. And I'll show you a couple things just offered in the middle here on this island. So starting with this spot here, we've got some uh, cut up cheeses here, different styles of Gouda, Panella cheese, mozzarella, got some edam cheese, here's some manchego cheese, a goat cheese, uh, Ro Roquefort cheese, I think this is just a, I think it's just like a blue cheese, cheddar and then finally Gruyere cheese. And take a look at the presentation here, this is really nice. There's even some wines here kind of mixed in, maybe almost like what you would pair with these cheeses. Over here we've got some options to make a cold salad. There's some guacamole here too. So we'll just kind of pan through here a bit. We've got some chickpeas and broccoli, cabbage, lettuce and spinach, some hard boiled eggs, capers, some beans and corn. And then we've got some uh, different dressings here too. And then over in this cold prepared salad station, we've got some cold turkey breast, a potato salad, a uh, cheese mix with peppers. This is a tzatziki a hummus or a beet hummus and then a traditional hummus here so definitely following the theme of our Indian uh, theme night tonight and then over on this side we've got seasoned roasted vegetables we've got pasta salad tabbouleh salad some cooked shrimps here and they've got the shell on still as you can see 
and we got a grilled fish fillet with pesto and almonds, and then finally a cold meat salad with pickles, onions, and a mustard sauce. And then some more things to top off your salad here. So that's gonna do it then for our dinner buffet tour here at Rio Palace Las Americas. Hope you guys found it helpful seeing all the different food options here. So if you found this helpful, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out where we're going next.